Louis Zong for the whistle, slide whistle. Yeah. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the after show of the Great Night Program on a that Tuesday. That one was tight. That was a good one. It was actually pretty long. Uh, yeah, but it was tight. Like it was a C <laughs> like what? No. It was tight. Like <laughs> oh, no. oh. Yeah. Uh, hello, everybody. Welcome back. Um, great show, everybody. That was great. Uh, I uh, we I I had a few more. Am I the assholes here? Maybe we'll do some outtakes after uh, a little bit in the after show here. Uh, uh yeah. Brett, have you got any awards for us? Uh, only one, and it's for best picture for everything, everywhere, all at once. That's oh. it. And it, it. I hope it wins all the awards. I hope it wins yep. awards that it's not even nominated for. Right. Like people are like best documentary. Yeah. The, <laughs> everything, everywhere, all at all once. once. <laughs> the, the documentary of everywhere. Yeah. Yeah. Or it shows up like a everywhere. video game of the year. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, best the of uh, 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 Bitcoin alternative. <laughs> Everything best, everywhere. Best use of the multiverse. <laughs> yes. There we go. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, I'm surprised. They should have made an extended Lexus version. automobile. They should have made an extended version and called it even more of everything everywhere all at yes. once. All right, we can yep. Or. Okay, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Only this time feature a fucking whale. Yeah, whale. Yeah, put a, put a goddamn whale in it. 30 she more minutes so of good. just the rock. That was the, the, other, the other great part about Avatar 2. <laughs> <laughs> when James Cameron wrote too much fucking dialogue for the whales. <laughs> <laughs> they did it in papyrus. And then he had, so sure. it's like instead of just having all of the other characters that can talk to the whales to be like, yes, yes, I know. The the great oceaning is exciting. Uh, instead, they had to have the whales subtitled and just like, oh, I don't know. Gary's really getting on my nerve, but we talked it out and now we're cool. We're cool. Ah, great, great. Gary is an interesting fellow. What an amazing So movie. in those three and a half hours yeah. of that movie, do they ever uh, talk about, you know, whether they're having sex with the animals or they're... Because the way they have sex with each other is the same way that they communicate with the animals. Well, no, they, they there's an emotional, oh. there, there, there's an emotional yeah, and right. physical bind. Because they touch their USB tips to yeah, each the other. Yeah, that's right. They go and then they, USB-C. So it's like, you're putting that, so it's like, it's like somebody comes home and they're all like, oh, late night. You're like, really? really? Let me, let me smell your tip. <laughs> <laughs> Smells like whale. <laughs> Yeah, you've been you've been dingle dangling with some whales. Where's your arm? Where's your arm? <laughs> is that glitter hey, on your tail? This isn't about me. <laughs> I'm just farting on the cat over here. And they're like cat people, aren't they? Yeah, they are. Hey, everybody. Yo. Yeah, that was a fucked up haircut, <laughs> right? <laughs> you fucking you should file a report. It's it's funny that you and I get very similar haircuts. Like you're getting one. I mean, Apparently not. No, but but <laughs> yours I, looks great. Well, I also uh, get those kind of situations as well. I'm, where I'm, it's like, why do you I, go? I that? showed them a picture of it. Yeah. It's like just to, to make it a box. Yeah, make it go up and go over. Yeah, I yeah. was I was thinking about getting a haircut because I got to go to a bachelor party this weekend. Everyone's gonna be taking pictures, but I'm like now I'm scared. Yeah, I'm, I'm, my hair's gonna get fucked up. A uh, wise poet once said, "When you get a haircut, make sure you go back home." When you get a haircut, get a barber you have known since you were an itty bitty boy sitting in a barber chair. You look like Larry, Moe, or Curly if a stranger cuts your hair. It's beautiful, Dad. Second, second verse. <laughs> Barack Obama. <Wow. laughs> I'm so sad that one of my favorite uh, barber shops has closed. Wooten Barber Shop that had been around forever at the University of Texas. Uh, but it's no longer there. They still, they still had Playboys sitting out. Ah, the Ben Franklin showing up late. Missed the part where I paid $100 for a bad haircut. I paid Wait, you didn't price. say that. Yeah, I did. He didn't. He you said, paid no, he I said, went to a fancy place. He said place. he paid everything. Oh, okay. and he was assuming yes. that and, everybody and, 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 and knew that one. that meant $100. Yeah. Right. I thought he meant 
this current haircut. No, 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 no. Those were two cheap haircuts. If I, if uh, I got yeah, this uh, correctly. The best yeah. haircut of the last like five I've gotten was a, a, a like a twenty dollar job. Yeah, and that's why you've been. That's why I went back. Plumbing, plumbing the low end. Yeah. there. yeah. I, I, I tried the fancier places that have the wood paneling and the scotch. They sell you scotch. Yeah, so, they give yeah, you scotch. I think that's just to make you feel a little bit better. Yeah, and then it's not the haircut's not any different. And yeah. so I was like, you know, this would be cool, but I just want a good haircut, man. So I go to a, a place that's. Uh, uh, flat top shop and then they go oh yeah we know what to do and the lady's really nice to me i i, I might have to go to <laughs> I, I might far. need you to it's uh, not far not no, far it, it, it's northwestern arkansas I'm yes going to the it's in northwestern arkansas that's right it's uh, really it's a, it's it's a nice place i uh, <laughs> oh i forgot about this over the holiday i <laughs> I don't want to get into the backstory. Well, what are you doing? Come on. Get during into the, the backstory. During the holiday when I went Bart on the cat. <laughs> I, when I went home and visited my parents, um, I went and got a haircut. And um, and the lady who gave it, who gave me this haircut really wanted to talk about conspiracy theories. Yeah. She really wanted to. Anything what was she good? into? What Any, was she into? Yeah. What, what's, what was the flavor? Uh, it, it, it was very, it was a very light. Touch, and I think I, I think I was accidentally like counter <laughs> countering her. I think yeah. I because she was she was talking about like building seven fake news and and sure at fucking curriculums and stuff. Uh, and, I, and and I told her, yeah, fake news is a big is a big problem actually. Like when Notre Dame burned down, they thought it was a bunch of brown guys who did it, um, but they were working there and just trying to get out of the building. Um, I don't think she loved that a bit of that little bit of sobriety <laughs> to the situation. That's uh, bold, man. She was cutting your hair. Yeah. She could have, she could have brushed with you out of nowhere. Oh, I, oh, 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 oh. Now that he's gone, he just walked away. That's yeah. that's a fucked up haircut. Right? That's all. Well, really it's great. not that's great. I, it looked okay when he was messing. With, you know, the thing about a haircut is it's always bad for the first like week or two. Yeah. You'll figure week. it out in a week. The or motherfucker week. had to go get another haircut after he liked his haircut for two weeks. Yeah, I don't know why he did that. That's where he fucked up. The thing is, you gotta it, cut if, too close to the bone. I feel yeah. like if you have a hairstyle that you want to keep consistent, then you need to you do need to find the right person, and then you need to stay with them. Right. That I think that was the mess up. I've he never had. I've never been good at that, and the internet hasn't really solved it for me. And I was hoping that it would. Of all the things that constantly fucking bug me to to re up, the the the, the fact that they're like a barber is not like, hey, it's been two months. Yeah. yeah. You probably we, look like Chewbacca. We we could have you go see the exact same person. Yeah. Help no, book. they. Right, Annalisa off mic is saying, but they do that. Yes. Come on. All right, here you go. Not Annalisa, a place that I go. Annalisa, everybody. Okay, well, I have a really great barber, but they're in Ooh. North Austin. Okay. They're awesome, and they definitely uh, have an app that uh and you can get email reminders yep oh there i guess i don't know i i have not i feel like really good i i spent half of my saturday unsubscribing from email lists mm. and so i feel like i am very permissive when it comes to throwing okay. my, my email okay. is slutting around the internet uh, uh uh getting on every list possible i would love if it could be about my hair and i could have the person that i like that does it it never is i always i'm like well fuck and now i gotta go to a haircut place and i gotta find a place and it's always a different person i'm not good at it look i'm not saying that this isn't user error this is user error okay. right. all right i'm not saying that it's impossible you, for me to find these features do you, do you need somebody to remind you every six weeks to get a haircut i i thought this was what uh, uh my wife was supposed to do <laughs> but oh my goodness yeah. <laughs> she's not so tight that's up not, there that's <laughs> <what> <laughs> You want to call her? She just likes you. She just likes you. I feel, fluffy, I feel like for Ashley, I should like. You should slap punch me. You. Yes. No. I should be punched. Yeah, <laughs> that, is, that is a worthwhile. <laughs> as a worthwhile punch. No. 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 Yeah. I. I would love. That would be an element of my life that if I had like let's say a personal assistant. Mm -hmm. That I would that would be would be a very important. Now, part. now you know what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mark in my phone to remind Justin. <laughs> no, yeah. you can't. Do, I'll feel terrible if you do it. You should not be wasting any bandwidth <laughs> on the fact that I am a, 
<laughs> that I am a, a messy little baby who can't like feed himself. We it don't need the a most hum- ridiculous reminder I have. I, Although nothing beats the reminder that I have from like March 29th of two years ago. That the reminder is just oh shit. I have no idea what that was. <laughs> <laughs> maybe it was uh, you need to go to the bathroom. <laughs> oh, yeah, maybe that's what it was, Brett. Oh, yeah. gosh. Hey, do you think Brian would let me fix his hair? Yes. <laughs> I think I'm going to have to chase him down with some do scissors. Think, do you think that you could? At do least you know the what parts, you would do? At least the parts that are like longer than all the rest of them. It is fucked up in the front. Yeah, and, I think I can at least help fix that. Yeah. I've cut my own hair many times, and I've cut my husband's hair, so... <laughs> The my, one bang is a really strange decision. <laughs> my, my. I, I know I, how it happened, though. I resisted my wife getting into cutting my hair during the quarantine, mm-hmm. uh, and I had to give in once. She oh. was very excited about it, and I was not. That very thing happened with me. Ek did a fantastic job of cutting my hair, and then she goes, "Okay, now I want you to cut my hair." I was like, "Fuck no. that, mm. no." No, you better you better put that shit in like, the ponytail and no. don't put that pressure on me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and, and if there was a few days of, well, but why not? I'm like, no, Aww. absolutely no. not. Yeah, we don't need that. That's that's too much pressure. <laughs> Too There's much pressure. So many oh. things that I'll do. I'm not gonna cut your hair. <laughs> <laughs> but I won't do that. I guess my husband and I are weird, although he's he's actually here tonight and he's making faces at me as I'm talking about this. <laughs> but yeah. No, this is this is uh, uh He's got uh, long luscious locks now he though. Does. Oh, he does, yeah. that's right. Yeah. Three L's. <laughs> Uh, uh, is Brian coming back? No, for real. I would assume. I know. I, you know I, I, him. I'm, I'm guessing he's you know. on the phone with Bonnie. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. That's what I'm okay. guessing. I think he went to go use the bathroom and then called Bonnie and now is talking to Bonnie. Well, in the meantime, do you guys want to do an, after, an outtake from Am I the Oscar? Let's do it. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. All right, no, here's one. Yeah. No, I don't think so. I don't think so. Stay up there. No, you can hang out with us if you like. Fuck. Last week, I, 25-year-old female, got a giant pizza for half off and then got an emergency work call and didn't have the chance to eat it. <sighs> My roommate, Caro, 26 female, had some friends over and they were drinking and ate my pizza that I hadn't even eaten any of. Caro apologized and said she owed me one. I was annoyed but understood it since it happens, but did expect her to make it up to me. A few days ago, I saw this batch of brownies in the fridge. Caro has a great brownie recipe and even made them for my birthday last year, so I thought this was to make up for her friends eating my pizza. I had the day off work and was chilling and polished off the whole pan. Oh, oh shit. Oh, no. Then I noticed a text from Caro offering me one of the brownies in the fridge mm. in the pan. Turns out she made them for a potluck the next day. I freaked out and ran to the store to buy some brownie mix and made new brownies since I didn't know her recipe. She didn't notice they were different since the pan was covered in foil, but was really upset when she came home because she realized the brownies were different. I confessed what happened, but she was screaming at me, calling me a liar and a bad person. What? I apologized, but was really hurt uh, by the name calling since I really screwed up. But then I replaced them and she ate my pizza in the first place. Am I the asshole? Uh, th- th- this is an ESH. This is in Everyone Sucks Here. Uh, everyone yeah. Sucks, uh, yeah. She was in the wrong for her and her friends eating the pizza right huh. she should have immediately made, made an mm-hmm. actionable move to make up for that before the brownies mm-hmm. the other lady I, we can understand her eating all the brownies little fucking ex- uh, yeah excessive. a lot of brownies for one day a lot of brownies for one day but <laughs> happens right and whole pizza whole plate of brownies that seems like an even exchange but you got to be honest when she says you can have one. You have to say, "Oh my oh, God! I, I ate, assumed oh. that yeah. you made all these for me. I can buy other brownies." Uh, uh, but yeah, no. This is, although, this is a communication problem. Although, although, uh, had the brownies been cut up yet? Because technically, they hadn't been <laughs> cut up yet. It is she one did eat brownie. one brownie. Also, did she leave a note or something? No. Well, she didn't. She all all we have is that she texted to say she can have one of the brownies in the pan. To me, that is, that says that they've after been they were all consumed, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah. leave uh. a note on there. Uh, yeah, if you don't want somebody to eat your potluck stuff, you gotta you gotta leave a note. Yep, that's true. Especially that happened if you're to in me. A that happened situation. to me here. They there was a factor 
Oh, that was... <laughs> that's not. Oh, <laughs> ah, that's no, that's no, not. that's different. Hey, that's not you, the same. You had a reasonable expectation. Like yeah. uh, that fridge is filled. Roommate with... rules. Was yeah. We put notes yeah. on it now. We're yeah. not. We're yeah. the past is the past. And they all yeah. say Brett on them. <laughs> Brett, no, no, don't no, eat no, this. No. <laughs> also, now anything in that corner is fair game. In fact, if it's in that except corner... for the factor, because we do need to shoot another factor. At it. <laughs> <laughs> the factor is not in the corner. <laughs> oh. Oh, that's me in the. Oh, the other. Okay. Me in the corner. So what does everybody think? Uh, there is a there is a judgment on Reddit. Everyone sucks. You think everyone sucks? I think everyone yeah. sucks. Ryan, what do you think? Uh, I only walked in, but it sounds like somebody ate some pop brownies. And so no, 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 no. no. Lady, lady, brownies, lady gets on her way home from work a pizza. A what? A pizza. Who? This woman. A whom? A woman. A woman. A whom? <laughs> a female. A whom stove? Actually, that's a, worse. A, a, a fully. Realized, <laughs> liberated Wait. woman uh, uh, gets a pizza and then has to, gets called back to work. Mm. Uh, her roommate doesn't eat any of the pizza. Doesn't eat any of the pizza. Her roommates eat the pizza that the lady has not eaten at all. Uh, the roommate who uh, was overseeing it is like, "Hey, I'm sorry we ate your pizza. I owe you one." Sometime later, the uh, lady who had initially gotten the pizza is sitting at home, realizes there's a plate of brownies, thinks, oh, how sweet. My roommate who ate all my pizza made me a plate of brownies. She eats the entire tray of brownies and then gets a text from the roommate saying, hey, feel free to have a brownie. Uh, she panics, makes a set of store-bought brownies herself, covers it in the same tin, and then the lady oh, had to bring deception. it in for a potluck. Yeah. Uh, she does and realizes that they're different brownies and then uh, screams and yells at uh, her roommate. I don't know. Like, uh, roommate situation stuff tends to be like uh, all of them are feral. Like, all roommates are feral. And yeah. It's, 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 it's prison rules at all times. <laughs> Everyone sucks then. Uh, or, or are you putting the the is is are one of the two roommates less culpable for this? No, no, no. I, I, uh, I mm. guess everybody sucks, but also everybody is in a roommate situation. <laughs> like, like that's a uh, like. Look, you're talking to a guy who got into a staring contest over dishes and refused to do them, and finally it got so bad that mold began to grow and lighter fluid was sprayed on dishes and a fire happened. Uh, With like no it, thermite, though. Uh, <laughs> no thermite. I had yet to evolve. Okay. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, okay. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, I've it, had those That all seems fair, Dinkum. If, yeah. if, 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 mathematically, it's the same to say everybody's... Wait, stuck. hold on. So who was the asshole in that situation? Uh, in the mold, lighter fluid situation. Yeah. Oh... If you if you were to have written that situation out on Reddit, how would, how would you it expect? Been? Would you expect for you to be the asshole, your roommate to be the asshole, or for everybody sucks here? You know what's funny is nowadays I guess I would say we're all the asshole, but if I were to call my buddy right now, we would both laugh and be all like, "Yeah, we were awesome." <laughs> like I, I, I don't. Uh, I, well, no, but those aren't categories any. on this subreddit, <laughs> <laughs> right? Right. Yeah. There's you're the asshole, not the asshole. Everyone sucks here. There are no assholes here. Yeah, I think there's no assholes. So you would wow. expect that the internet would read the story that you just told us and say that there oh, were no, no, no. no I, assholes I, I, I'm in saying, the but, mold but, growing and lighter fluid, nobody's doing the dishes situation. That was an asshole free situation, I'm, according to the internet. That that that's how I feel about it. Yeah. Uh the the internet I assume always thinks everybody's the asshole at all times. Okay. <laughs> uh, Reddit said that everyone sucks here. Yep. Yeah. Everyone sucks here. I ate the whole, uh, the whole, the whole the pan. Whole pan. The whole it didn't pan. even ask. But is that whole... throughout the whole day though? That I mean, it's is that sitting down and just getting crazy getting with in it? It does say day it? off of work and chilling, chilling. A or lot is of it six hours and you're like, doop, 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 doop. And then could you take the down a whole like, plate hey. of brownies without other food? Because that's the other thing is like, like but yes, you're eating them what? dry. We have a, a, a hand up in, in the back, but like without <laughs> milk or, or anything like that. Like, yeah. he depends on the brownies. Over I've here. seen him do it. <laughs> a plate of them. <laughs> he feels attacked, he says. Am I wrong? Like, no. What? Uh, he said no. Would I be the asshole if I adopted a 
abandoned cat. But as I adopted it, I said, I intend to fart on this cat every single day. That cat's not going to care. No. I'm going to feed it. That cat's going to fart on you just as much. They right? absolutely okay. are. Okay, okay. Remember, cats check the news okay. by smelling each other's buttholes. Yeah. Now, now let's get comp. It's just going to think it's getting a news report. What about a dolphin? A dolphin... I'm Why? adopting a dolphin. So you so can fart, can fart on the fart. dolphin? Yeah. I mean, if you can chase that fucker down, you're in good shape. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That Are you doing it? You... What? Do you have to ride on the on its fin? And Is then that how fart you're doing on it? it? How are you applying? I would like to know your science behind the farts underwater, please. Yes. Uh... I hadn't thought that far, but it seems sort of like we're all on the same page, which is if you if you catch them, it's fair game. Um, mm. uh, Just have to watch out for the whales. What about an artificially intelligent robot in the shape? Fart, of- fart on that robot. Okay. They in the shape of what? Robots the that can like time. tell you your health uh, with assorted bodily excretions. I'll say this: if I find out a child is is a robot, I will indeed fart on it. <laughs> Yo, does anybody fart on Megan in that movie? That's what I'm saying. They should have farted on her ass. Has anyone seen Megan? I kind of want to see Megan. Everybody's talking about Megan. Mithrigan. 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 I've heard good things, but that doesn't seem to be It's a great creature design. Is it actually horror or is it just weird? Uh, Pretty Yes. Yeah, I okay. think it's both. Yeah, I'm trying to decide if I want to watch it or not because I can handle horror stuff. Mm. But Wikipedia calls it an American science fiction horror film. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Well, right. I mean, how is it compared to Nope? That's what I want to know. Well, it doesn't know. feel like the uh, same uh, vibe. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah, Nope was kind of an adorable 1950s style sci-fi Fantastic. UFO. That's movie. another good movie that we yeah. saw this year. Oh yeah, no, uh, no, no award recognition for no. Huh? No. Mm-hmm. Wow. I mean, it's horror, oh, right? You want to know what? No whales. You want to know what I was oh. interested in? The uh, uh, best adapted screenplay, Knives Out, was on there. Knives Out. It was the, a book the, the, first. The, it was a book. I think so. Or Why? Glass uh, Onion. Glass Onion was a, adapted from a book. Yeah, because it's a series by with with that that. Oh, uh, here we go. No, that that that. Sorry, uh, Is that right. The movie was nominated for best adapted screenplay because under the Oscar rubric, any sequel goes into that category. Uh, oh. Perhaps this is why Johnson told EW he was pissed about the movie's subtitle. He would prefer to create more of an extinct a distinction and emphasize how it's a new novel off the shelf every time. Yeah, that's what I I, I put that together. New novel, but you it wasn't. It. Oh yeah, that's. But it wasn't. What about a, a real ferret? Book? Can I yeah. fart on a ferret? Bro, if you don't you, fart on a ferret, you go to hell. Yeah. <laughs> Do you want a ferret that close to your butthole, that though? That ferret is going to stick that nose in your ass. dangerous, that's dangerous game, happen. Brian. Have a Do you ferret know how that close? small most ferrets are. Most dangerous game. The most dangerous game. That ferret might... He might that dangerous. He might like it. Take the might want more. Might want to investigate the origins. If you give a ferret oh. a fart, he'll ask for... What, a, shark. what about an octopus? <laughs> Do you... Again... <laughs> Do you, do you want that orifice that close to an octopus? Because he's got you know like how the they, eat? Teeth. they have beaks. I don't know. Is he is he busy predicting who's going to win the World Cup? Uh, maybe not. But maybe it's learning how to take itself out of a jar that's shut. Those it can, fuckers are smart. It can get out. It can get into any space. Yeah. As long as it's bigger, uh, smaller, or as long as it's bigger than his beak. Yeah. Don't that's mess. The only with thing cephalopods. that's holding him back. Don't mess with cephalopods. No. Now, Brian, are you at a size four, or size five, asshole? What are we looking at? <laughs> How much would you pay to fart on a blue whale? <laughs> is it jumping over you nope, at nope, the time? It's, ju- it's just hanging around, okay. and its agent <laughs> reaches out to you. Its agent? Yeah. <laughs> and says, listen. I got a hot new property. <laughs> How much do they charge He's in you? your area. <laughs> How much do they charge it right All right, there? hold on. Wait a minute. I know where this is going. Brian, oh, no. show me your phone. <laughs> uh, there was a question in the chat if any of us had seen RRR, and I know at least three of us have. So. I hear it's very good. What it is. is. What is it? Is, what are we talking about? It's a Bollywood film. That 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 the the whole conceit is, why don't we just do it? Why don't we just 
Sure, let's just do. Hey, let's get a guy that stands on another guy's shoulders and becomes a, a Hindu god. They're like, yeah, let's just do that. It's a his, uh, my understanding is it's a historical uh, dramatization of yes. some folk legends from uh, Indian culture. Yeah, um, it's 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 uh, it's three and a half hours. <laughs> I can tell you. It's very funny, but I hear it's great. I hear yeah. it's a it's it's a it's a damn Avatar two of a movie. The, the best part of when we watched it, we had the uh, the aud- audio was accidentally on Portuguese, so we were like, man, they're making some really interesting choices <laughs> on what languages people are saying, and then we're like, oh, we just need to oh, speak we, English. Yeah. Oh. I like How old would the cat have to be? Before you <laughs> All right, <laughs> and we're wrapping it up. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for coming to Great Night. Yes. Brett, Annalisa, Brian Brushwood, Bryce Castillo, I'm Justin uh, Robert Young. See you later, ladies and gentlemen. Good night, everybody.